What do you think is the most effective learning method? Because I see some people learn by taking a classroom training or virtual training. Some learn by watching videos. Some learn by uh, by reading a book. Uh, what do you think is the most effective learning method? I'd, I'd actually challenge the premise of the question because I'm not sure there's a most effective learning method. I think it's very individual. This is very big challenge. Um, I have students, for example, that will approach me in my class who have developed a, uh, let's just say it's an app. They've developed a new app. They're 20 years old. And they're sitting on the fence with the idea of jumping off the ledge and starting their own business. And they're asking for genuine counseling. Should I, should I quit my four-year degree and go off and start this business? Um, I don't know that their learning is taking place as a coder uh, in the back room. I don't know that they got some of it in their initial computer science classes. I don't know that they're just not a novice who is inspired by some act in their day-to-day -day life that sent them down a path of curiosity that had them come up with an application or a solution to solve a problem. I don't know where it comes from. And I'm not smart enough to, to think that I know the formula by which different people find their way to learn. I'm more perplexed with the challenge of how do you guide that student in that environment. I'm, I'm less uh, facilitated with tools to figure out where he or she got their learning than I am to try to actually guide them on what they should do next. Which by the way is an equally perplex perplexing problem, right? Um, I think the simple answer, Russell, is I don't know what learning methods work best. I know what works best in my classroom, okay? Um, for me there was plenty of ivory tower learning, there's plenty of rote memorization techniques, there's even more contemporary learning styles. For my class, what I found was most effective, and by the way, this is the largest class of its kind anywhere in the country. I have 400 of the brightest business students and communication students and some engineers every week dealing with the topic of technology and marketing and what goes on in the world of, of trying to market and advertise technology. And, and quite frankly, it works best by, by mentorship. I sit on the end of the stage, two chairs, I bring in experts from different disciplines and give them something I never got. Straight shop talk, right? To have Russell sit in a chair and talk about the world of building an enterprise and to hear your entrepreneurial story and to hear all of the particulars that go into this sector of business that you've developed. Um, that's fascinating material. It's usually an MBA course and it's a special lecture series that you're paying a lot of money for. So I don't know what the formula is. I just, I tend to lead by example, whether it's using success stories in a book that are easy to map to, or whether it's having Russell sit on the stage to talk to my students about your path and how you got there. So much of this to me is formulaic and so to the degree that I can hear from a successful entrepreneur like Russell or like others